one of the things we were talking about before we came out was the whole, you know, the, the city at 275,000, uh, the city will receive to go into the capital maintenance fund. Uh, I think it's a dollar per exactly. ticket. Yeah. And we were talking a little bit about the confusion yeah. about what counts, what doesn't yeah. count, where we're at. It's a great, I'm, I'm glad you brought it up because it, 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 it's one of those things that there's so much going on, more going on here than just 10 caps baseball. Again, it will continue to always be the biggest thing that happens in Parkview Field for numbers. But there's a couple of concerts coming up, major concerts with uh, Mercy Me, uh, Good Charlotte, and a bunch of other uh, rock and pop mainstream bands on a different night that we're excited about. All of those count in the number for this capital improvement fund. Nothing makes us happier as the people that operate the team on a daily basis to know that 50% of that money from Parkview Field that they have uh, signed up for, for the naming rights for Parkview Health, excuse me, to name Parkview Field, uh, goes into there. It's one of those things that we can ensure continues to make this the jewel that it is today. When people look at Dayton, Ohio, you're talking about the Dayton Dragons in our league uh, 10 years now. They've averaged 8,200 fans a game. That's unheard of. Uh, you know, my, my good friend that's over there says, you know, if I told you our secrets, I'd have to kill you. You know, they joke about it, but it's they're affiliated with the Reds who are 45 minutes down the road. They're in a stadium almost as nice as this one. <laughs> but what I would say for them as a compliment to them is from year two to three, they ripped out what most people would think was the best scoreboard in the country and replaced it with a bigger one. A couple years later, it was remove all those billboards and make the whole thing LED and ribbon board. It's the, I can't afford not to go out there. I got to see what's happening. Things are always in flux. We already started this with the parking garage and the rooftop and the city park and all those things. But over time, we will identify things that will improve the fan experience, will improve revenues for all of us, including the city, different things. We don't have any earmarked at this point, but where that fund does so much. And so uh, we sit here already, you know, right around the end of June, and we've had, you know, in excess of 200,000 people come through this for tin caps and non tin cap games. And the people that we count towards that number are the paid tickets for games paid events here having nothing to do with the tin caps, concerts, other special events. We're doing a lot out in the Lincoln Event Center and upstairs in these lofts and lounges. And the important thing for people to know is it's the number of paid tickets out there. And the yield we talked about before is tremendous with people buying tickets are using them to come out here. I've got 10 clients I could name that say before I would buy my four season tickets and at the end of the year there was a lot in the, in the drawer. These same men and women are calling now saying I need to get eight more for this Saturday night's game. Geez, I can't even get out there to your games because everybody's hitting me up for tickets and we've already given away all the tickets through July. And so those are the problems you want to have. And so the, the number that counts is the number of, uh, of the paid tickets out of the system and those kinds of things. And, and let's get that, you know, it's in everybody's best interest to get as many people down here as we can. The city, the fund continues to grow. In our case, people are coming down here for tin caps and non tin caps events. But again, people, we're, we're a little uh, selfish. We think when people come check this place out, they're going to want to come back. And so I hope I answered it properly. You know, it's just, if somebody comes out here and they buy a ticket for a 10 Cavs game, it counts. Mm -hmm. If a company outing, if there's a non 10 cap event, Brooks Construction did their 100th anniversary here earlier this year. They brought out 250 people. That counts towards that fund. All those paid tickets and events like that count. What does not count would be something like earlier this year, we had a Healthy Kids Day for the YMCA. We had 4,500 people come through here for free earlier this year. There isn't a dollar per head because we didn't charge anything to get in. When we had the open house for the community and 6,000 people showed up for one of them, that does not count towards that fund because there aren't revenues derived from it. For an example of a tin caps game, this past weekend, 
there were over 6,000 tickets to a specific game. And of that entire number, three or 400 or so did not count towards that number. The other around 6,000 did. And so it carves out tickets for team personnel. It carves out tickets for the reading program because it's just a great incentive program that we're not charging people to come to. Any of their guests that pay, do pay, and it goes towards it. And so uh, it's, it's one of those things that uh, the numbers for that are tremendous. Uh, bluntly put, I don't mean this as a criticism of anybody, people need to understand it's not just tin caps games, it's the other stuff. And so we will do a lot of parties this October, November, December for fall parties, uh, Christmas parties, holiday parties. In future years, we will be able to build that number by January, February, and March where this beautiful stadium that we're in right now was not finished. And so uh, we are being asked by companies all the time, uh, several daily, about renting out the Lincoln Event Center, about let, renting out the, the lounge upstairs. Our conference room uh, has been rented out for many times. We never even considered that when we were building the place. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff like that going on that all counts, most of it, you know, again, when there's paid admission or when they do a food service thing that counts towards the number and it's, it's, it's great for all of us. Well, you know